And you probably noticed from the footage of my ride on Gotland is that it's relatively lush everywhere and green. Good morning internet! It is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am in a town called Visby on the Swedish island of Gotland and I'm now actually walking to the place where I am supposed to have a breakfast. I'm staying in a sort of side building of a hotel and they told me you have to go to another place to have breakfast. All good, I'm really looking forward to it actually. <laughs> after all those um, uh, yogurt with muesli breakfasts, which were amazing. But I am looking forward to something else. See what they have. Look how cute this town is. Oh, I really, really, really like this place. Anyway, my plan for today is to take it easy, to have a relaxed day. I am not going to ride a lot, but I think I will see some interesting places. After the breakfast, I'll go back to the room get ready and then I'll show you on the map although I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually visible on the map but I'll make an attempt to show you uh, the plan for today All right, so what is the plan for today? So I'm now on this island here and the plan of the day is to go to Faro and you cannot really see it on the map, but this is actually another tiny island. So I have to take again uh, a boat. It's only a short hop to this uh, part of Gotland. So that's where I'm going today. Okay, it's a little walk to uh, pick up Ronin. Uh, I was strictly forbidden to park her somewhere here on the street somewhere. I had to park her on the official uh, parking lot. So let's see how, how she has uh, been doing up there. It's another beautiful day, look at it. Oh, fantastic. All right, I think you're gonna have a good giggle at this. <laughs> look how I left Ronin yesterday. <laughs> so this is where I stuck the parking ticket. I felt like such an idiot, but I had to pay for the parking. I mean, now there's the two bikes. I don't know how they did it. But anyway, I had to pay for the parking. Um, but then the ticket, uh, it's not on a license plate number. So you just have to pay and then, yeah, in a car you put the ticket, you know, on the dashboard. But I was like, how am I supposed to, where am I supposed to put the ticket then? So I took electrical tape. <laughs> And I just stuck it on there and I was thinking anyone can just grab the ticket and put it in their car because yeah it's not uh, specific to any vehicle but nobody did that so it's actually still here I'm quite amazed I guess this is a quite safe place anyway I don't have to worry about these things well, first I'm going to that uh, tiny island Fere Fero or something and after that um, I'm going to show you a little bit more of this town Visby when I come back Excuse me, do you know where to buy the ticket for the boat? There is no ticket required. It's for free? Oh, I didn't know. Okay, thanks. 
So it's a free ferry. Awesome! Let's park it somewhere here, I guess. There? Oh yeah, MC motorcycles. That's good enough. Sorry? That's good enough. Okay. <laughs> Are you from here? No. Stockholm. Stockholm. Yeah. Did you rent it here in the island? No, I had this uh, this one in Stockholm. You drove it from Stockholm? Yeah. It's, a, it's not a movement, it's a, it's a, it's a motorbike, 150cc. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. But with small wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How fast can it go? 100. 100? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but is it allowed on the motorway? On the highway? Yeah, yeah. I can go uh, highways with this one. Nice. <laughs> and then you put your luggage on the back. Yeah, we have a couple of, of bags here. But I, can, I can put it with straps. Right, right. Yeah. right. I love it. Yeah. Italian, it's a Vespa. Italian. Marsh. That's where I am going now. Oh, there's going to be some sheep. Okay, I'm here. All right, it is time for a little bit of geology again. I am now in a pretty cool place. And over here, you get what they call sea stacks. So let's have a closer look. How about that? Pretty amazing, right? So the locals call these sea, sea stacks, but they are actually all limestone formations because the bedrock of this island of Gotland is all limestone. Because many million years ago, this island was located much closer to the equator and it was in warm tropical waters. So that's when the limestone was deposited that you still see here. And over time, wind erosion and ice ages shaped these rocks in what they look like today. And you probably noticed uh, from the footage of my ride on Gotland is that it's relatively lush everywhere and green. And this island has a relatively mild climate. But on top of that, actually, this limestone bedrock helps retain warmth throughout the winter time. So there are a lot of flowers and trees that can grow on these islands, which you would normally only find at much more southern latitudes. But because those rocks keep the heat, they can thrive here as well. Okay, let's go. Whee!
dear, where am I going? <laughs> Up here? Wow, I love this! I've reached the city wall here. Oh, awesome. I love riding here. So this city wall of Visby is super impressive. And it's medieval, it's built in the 13th century. And the entire wall is 3.5 kilometers long and there are 44 towers such as this one and they built this wall to protect Visby from pirates and other threats coming from the sea and now this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site super beautiful This city full is so cool. And I'm back in my beautiful wallpapered room. Uh, that is it for today. I had a lovely relaxed day. It was beautiful. So yeah, I just uh, really enjoyed it. I hope you liked it too. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.